Welcome back everyone. We saw temperatures in the lower 90s yet. We will not be getting anywhere near that today. The cold front is arriving. In fact, it's pretty much here already. Temperatures will continue to fall as we head through the remainder of the day today. Rain chances starting to pick up as well. I had to boost those up just a little bit. That rain is expected to filter in a little bit later this afternoon, heading into early evening tonight. That colder air also expected to stick around early into next week. Satellite and radar kind of showing us what's going on out there right now. We're starting to see these, this cloud cover filter in from the northwest. Cloud cover is expected to start to pick up a little bit more as we move through the morning hours into the early afternoon hours where the rain chances will start to also move in from the north as well. Outside right now we are looking at temperatures in the lower 70s. Feels like 72, 66 for your dew point. Calm winds right now, but those winds are forecast to pick up just a little bit later this afternoon once that front makes its way through town. As far as temperatures go around the region, we're looking at 60s and 70s for the most part. Look at how much cooler western Kansas is over here. 60 in Dodge City, 68 in Wichita, 61 down to our south. A little bit closer to home though here. Here's what we're looking at currently. 69 in Emporia and Lawrence as well as 68 in Hiawatha, 73 in Manhattan, 70 a little bit further west in Concordia. As far as those wind speeds go, here's what we're looking at for this afternoon. As mentioned, once that front makes its way through the area, their wind speeds are going to pick up just a little bit. We're looking at about 15 to 20 miles per hour across the region coming down from the north. Could be gusting up to 25 though, so if you happen to be outside, it'll likely be raining at the time as well. But hold on to your hats and scarves. It could be a little bit breezy. Otherwise, as we head through the day tomorrow, it's not quite as bad, but we should be still seeing wind speeds about 15 to 20 miles per hour, this time coming in from the northwest. So once again, a little bit of a breezy day tomorrow, but really all the action should be today once that rain moves through. As far as temperatures go, here's what we're looking at this afternoon. Notice how we really don't warm up at all. Right around 3 o'clock, that's when peak heating should be taking place, but temperatures are going to be in the 50s. Cloud cover and rain showers moving through the area are going to cool us down significantly. Upper 60s to the northwest side of the state, but really here in central Topeka and the surrounding region, temperatures are only going to fall from here. Monday morning, temperatures are bottoming out in the upper 40s. As we head into early October, those temperatures continue to fall over the next several days. Future track for so laying it out, we are expecting this rain band to set up just to the south of the I-70 corridor. Not expecting a whole lot of heavy rain from that, but what we are watching is the northeast side of the viewing area. This band right here forecast to push into the area, and really the rain is supposed to become a little bit more widespread, giving much of the viewing area a good chance of rain as it shifts down to the southeast side of the viewing area. More rain forecast in the evening hours of tonight. As far as tomorrow morning goes, cloud cover moving into the area at that point. Here's your seven-day forecast for you. 67 today. Showers are likely likely this afternoon 80% right now 68 tomorrow partly cloudy skies Tuesday and Wednesday are looking great temperatures in the low to mid 70s breezy conditions on Wednesday as well Thursday we're looking at temperatures in the lower 60s as yet another cold front makes its way through the area as far as Friday and Saturday go temperatures in the low to mid 60s 68 by Saturday